I am here to give you six tips to help us out on our late night sugar cravings. Cause I've been there, uh, I know you've been there, so let's talk about it, all right? You're having a great day of doing good exercise, you're moving around all day, you had all healthy meals all day, you had your water intake, everything was good, everything was great, you're on top of the world. But then, as soon as it reaches, you know, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 p.m., in the middle of the night, whatever, all of a sudden, we just become like a whole new animal. We come a, become a beast. All of a sudden, we just, we, we want to eat everything in sight. Everything that's sweet, everything, oh my gosh, in sight, we're going to eat it, right? So um, let me know if you guys have ever felt that way. I know I sure have. I'm not, I am definitely not any different than a lot of people. Like I, at night, I become like a bridge troll. I just need to eat everything in sight, I guess. Like um, that definitely has happened to me in the past. Um, I still continue to fight it on a daily. Um, I, you know, I think I'm not alone in wanting to like have a nice full stomach with like, you know, sweets and sweet tooth dessert at the end of the day. I think that's quite common, all right? So if that is something that that's like, something that you kind of struggle with that's like kind of keeps you spinning your wheels a little bit. It keeps like preventing you from getting any kind of like progress and long-term traction. I'm here to give you six tips to help us out on our late night sugar cravings. Cause I've been there. Uh, I know you've been there. So let's talk about it. All right. Uh, tip number one. All right. Tip number one, it's going to be super easy, pretty simple, pretty basic. Um, but tip number one is basically to be skipping your soda your sugary drinks and your caffeine, caffeinated beverages, skipping all of those drinks after 5 p.m. Um, reason being, so you want to be able to try to skip, you know, skip soda, Mountain Dew, Coca-Cola, try to skip coffee if you can, try to skip those, those things after 5 p.m. Um, reason being, you know, if you, if you have sugar, um, sugar is, is a funny thing, right? Um, People like to demonize sugar like it's gonna kill you, um, and it only will if it, if it lets you. So sugar, um, I like to think of it as like sugar begets more sugar. So like once you have sugar, like your body and your mind and your brain like craves more of it. So tip number one to stop like going on a late night craving binge sweet sugar you know fiesta is to try to stop drinking any kind of soda or caffeinated beverage after 5 p.m because that's going to be another one of those things um first of all you don't want to drink your calories but then second of all it's going to be another thing that just kind of begets wanting more sugar all right you can definitely have like there's substituted beverages that literally taste just like soda, but they just use artificial natural sweeteners. Don't be afraid of artificial natural sweeteners. They're not going to kill you. They're not going to give cancer. Trust me, that's a myth. All right. So tip number one for facing those late night, like, you know, sugar craving binges um, is skip the soda uh, for after like 5 p.m. Keep it to a minimum. Um, and also the skip the caffeine because we want to be able to actually fall asleep at night, you guys. We want to actually be able to rest our eyes, have good quality sleep because that's so important in our fitness journey, all right? Good quality sleep. Uh, tip number two, super basic, super simple, almost like beating a dead horse here, but really packing in the protein um, with your final meal, with, with dinner. Really, like you should have, tr you try to maximize your protein intake with almost every meal, right? But really, especially for dinner time, if you struggle with like having that kind of, you know, binge, you know, feeling that you wanna make every night, load up on protein, all right? Make sure that your body is, your stomach is satiated with protein, which is the most satiating macronutrient of all, right? There's nothing that fills you up more um, like protein, right? So try to have a, a protein packed dinner. Um, that way you're not actually like hungry and starving and then you wanna, you wanna binge out at night, right? So that's tip number two. Tip number three, fill up on fiber. Fiber, what is fiber? Fiber throughout the day. Fiber basically helps make you poop, you know, in short of a words, um, but it also helps you, uh, helps your stomach 
actually the contents of your stomach feel full. It's good for your digestive system. It helps clean out your digestive system. It helps you feel satiated. It makes you feel full. So you want to have an uh, adequate amount of fiber from complex carbohydrates, you know, brown rice, sweet potatoes, especially from your vegetables. Any kind of vegetable is really going to work. Um, plenty of plenty of options out there to get a good amount of fiber. So that's tip number three. Fill up on fiber throughout the day, all right? It'll help uh, keep you full. It'll help prevent the urges at night. Uh, tip number four, stay hydrated. Speaking of keeping your stomach contact, contents full, uh, water, you guys, that is completely free of calories and you can definitely um, drink as much water as possible, all right? So fill your stomach contents up, you guys, with water and then make sure, it's another added, uh, just added measure uh, to make sure you're less inclined to want to binge out and have all that sweet you know, sweet goodness at, at the end of the night, all right? So that is tip number four. Um, so far, we've had four tips, right? I'm, I'm going through pretty quick. I'll recap before we get into the last two. Um, tips to avoid the late night sugar craving. So tip number one was to skip caffeine, uh, skip the soda, skip like coffee, stuff like that. Um, sugar kind of begets craving more sugar. So um, you want to keep that stuff down to a minimum after 5 p.m. Tip number two was the pack dinner full of protein. You want to be filled with a lot of protein before you go to bed. Um, that way, you know, your stomach's filled up, you got protein in the pipeline basically, and you're not going to be inclined starving to want to binge out on something sweet. All right. Uh, tip number three, fill up on fiber, get those veggies in. Uh, tip number four was staying hydrated. All right. Uh, the last two tips here, let's go over it. Tip number five, Stay busy, all right? I know this is funny. Um, you're like, stay busy? What the heck? It's, it's nighttime. I'm, how am I going to stay busy at night? Um, one thing that I think has been like really cool and like a, a just mind blower for me lately has been doing a nighttime routine, all right? So I first, you know, I never did any routine ever. I would just wake up and wing it every day and, you know, pretty much just live life like that. Um, but now on a daily basis, I, I, I implemented a morning routine. Um, I think I made a video on those uh, a while ago. You can check it out. But I'll implement a morning routine um, like clockwork. And then I've also started implementing a night nighttime routine. So I'll stay busy um, with my nighttime routine, which is like trying to turn off um, all technology, you know, usually around like 8.30, 8 p.m. earlier if I can. So like after this, I'm pretty much going to start winding down, turn off all my electronics and uh, basically uh, try to unplug and then start uh, maybe get out a book um, and then do some journaling before uh, the night before. I might have done a nighttime routine training before. If not, I might have to. But that's my tip number five is staying busy. Keep your mind occupied so you're not just thinking about like mindlessly snacking right, while watching TV or whatever. Um, and then tip number six, get rid of the trigger foods, like get rid of the trigger foods. Um, like I'm not saying like, uh, like throw it out now. You can, if you want, if you want to take a hardcore approach, just go ahead, chuck it in the garbage. If you're like that serious, go for it. But like everybody has a trigger food, whether it's Oreos or, or, um, like mine, uh, pop tarts or ice cream or whatever, but get rid of it. Get rid of it, and then when you're at the grocery store, don't pick it up. What are you gonna What are you gonna pick it up for? You know it's sabotaging your goals every time. So why would you pick it up? Um, insanity is the repetition of doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. So don't repeat the same mistake as last time. If you have a trigger food in your house and Oreos are your thing and it's like keeps making you mess up on your goals, quit picking up Oreos when you go to the grocery store. Find something else. All right, that's my bonus tip um, for you guys before I get going. Is find something else find a late night snack that actually you can snack mindlessly on guilt free so save a little bit of calories for the end of your day and then save something to snack on that's like um, a really good low calorie option that you can just go in on um, I have a couple recommendations that I have here for you guys is one um, Freaking frozen strawberries, all right? Frozen strawberries, I know, who'd have thought? But like strawberries are very calorically, uh, they're not calorically dense, so you can have a lot of strawberries. And if you freeze them, it kind of like makes them more of a challenge to eat, I guess, and more fulfilling. It's just like having a popsicle, and it's just like really good. So you can have a huge, unending line of strawberry popsicles. So frozen strawberries are a great option to just like binge out on late at night. If you absolutely like must need to have something sweet before bed, hey, I get it. 
I get it. No judgment, no hate. You know, I'm, I'm all for it. Let's eat some good stuff if we can. So frozen strawberries are a really good option. Um, you can do, I have, what's the other one I have? Um, like you can have like rice cakes on deck with, with certain ways to top them off. Um, I definitely recommend there's a lot of uh, recipes out there that you can make with whey protein. So you don't have to just make a, a protein shake. Otherwise, I mean, you could throw some ice, almond milk and some whey protein in there, make a shake before bed, stuff like that, protein ice cream. But you can, there's a lot of recipes out there to experiment with whey protein, uh, look into those. Um, and then also, um, uh, what was the last one? Whey protein, there was the frozen strawberries, and I think I had one more. Um, I'm completely losing it right now, completely lost it. Um, but is it gone? I think it's gone. I don't know, I can't remember it. I had one more. Um, no, I think it's gone. Sorry guys, I, I can't remember it. If I remember it, I'll make a video on it. Um, it'll come back to me, I'm sure. Oh man, that's gonna bother me. Um, but basically, oh no, boom, I got it. All right, low fat, um, sugar free, uh, Jello pudding, all right? Go to go to any like grocery store. You can get ca like really low calorie, like fat-free, sugar-free Jello pudding. Mix it with like skim milk, like even half skim milk and half almond milk. It's a game changer, you guys. Super low calorie. You can have a ton, big bowl of it right before bed and it'll still fit your macros. You'll still be able to make some gains. Uh, you see some abs, see some bicep veins, grow your booty, you know, get your waistline on fleek, whatever your goal is, right? But you can still enjoy sweet foods on the way getting there. Um, and yeah, I think uh, everyone should enjoy some good foods here and still be able to smash some goals, all right? So if, if anything from this little quick tip um, video helped you guys, I'd love to love to know it in the comments. If you ever struggle with like, you know, eating sugary foods before bed, let us know in the comments and let us know what worked for you. Like what was, what's the, the food that, that helps you or what stops you from completely screwing everything up before bed. Those are six tips from me. Um, I hope you guys are all having an amazing Thursday. Hope you guys have an amazing Friday. Let's make it a great day tomorrow, all right? Um, yeah, appreciate you guys for all tuning in, each and every one of you. Thanks so much. Um, yeah, talk to you all soon. Peace, love, and protein. I am out. Check it out now.